this section we look at the pre-draw, the building block that takes you from the setup to the draw and the full draw itself. Pre-draw is an important part of the preparation for each shot. It begins as the grip and setup are complete. After raising the bow, the shoulders and arms are put into the position just before drawing. This step includes the pre-draw motion. As the fingers are hooked onto the string and the bow hem placed into the grip, a light pressure is applied to the string from the drawing arm as indicated by the yellow arrow, which is counterbalanced by the forward pressure of the bow arm indicated by the red arrow. The shoulders are level in a relaxed position, both arms are raised to shoulder height. The pressure remains balanced 50-50 between bow arm, drawing arm and balanced between the string fingers and the bow hand. The shoulders remain level as the drawing arm and shoulder are used to draw the bowstring. The eyes should be focused on the aiming spot and relaxed aiming should begin. Watching from the other side we can see careful completion of the grip and setup. The pressure on the grip should be balanced by the pressure on the string fingers. The shoulders are level in a relaxed position. The draw elbow is slightly lower than the height of the draw shoulder. Both arms are raised to shoulder height. The drawing elbow is at the same height as the shoulder. There's a 50-50 balance between the bow and draw arms. For Tom, the 50-50 balance begins just as hooking is complete and the bow hand is set in the grip. Tom raises his arms to shoulder height. The 50-50 balance is maintained as he draws the string back. His draw elbow is now slightly higher than shoulder height. From the other side we can see the 50-50 balance begin at 45 degrees. It's important that the raising of the bow and the drawing motion are smooth, not too fast, but not too slow. A pause of about one second at the end of the pre-draw allows time to check the balance and position of both hands and arms. During the pre-draw, the bow shoulder is put into the correct alignment. The white dots track both shoulders and both hands. At the beginning of the pre-draw, the bow shoulder is not in line. At the end of the pre-draw, the bow shoulder has moved into line. A straight line can be drawn from the drawing shoulder through the bow shoulder to the bow hand. The view from above makes it easy to observe shoulder alignment. The bow shoulder must be aligned during pre-draw because it can't be changed later. Naomi's bow shoulder starts out of line. The shoulder moves into line as the bow is raised and the string drawn. We see the same for Tom. Careful placement of his bow shoulder into line prepares him well for his draw. As the grip and setup are complete, the bow shoulder is out of line. The movement of the bow shoulder into line is important to develop the 50 50 balance between the bow arm and the draw arm. Without a shirt, it's easier to track the shoulder movement. A pause for one second allows Tom to feel the balance of the push and pull and ensure he's using the right muscles. The pre-draw involves many small steps, which all need to be consistent.
during training, ask your coach or a friend to take a video of your shooting and check precisely the position of your grip, draw hand, shoulders, drawing elbow and head during pre-draw. With a well-executed pre-draw, you can ensure your body and bow are aligned before the draw starts. Many archers, including the world's best, are inconsistent with their pre-draw. Be aware of your consistency of position, motion and timing. This will give you control of your bow, increase your consistency and raise your performance level.